Welcome back. Deputy Chief Minister Francis de Souza has been co-opted as the first vice president in Goa Cricket Association. This sudden move comes in the wake of speculation that current president Vinod Fadke may have to step down due to his alleged involvement in the ticket kit scam. Meanwhile, in a cricketing development that will cheer up the players, GCA has confirmed the appointment of former Sri Lankan star Nuan Joysa as the coach for the Ranji team. This was the scene outside the GCA Academy that portrayed the seriousness of the managing committee meeting at Porvari on Saturday afternoon. After a closed-door meeting of over an hour, Deputy Chief Minister Francis de Souza emerged along with President Vinod Fadke and other members. De Souza's surprise entry into GCA means former number one vice president Dr. Shekhar Sarkar is demoted to being second vice president. Secretary Chetan Desai, however, denied there was any talk about GCA leadership change. We heard a speculation that GCA will have a leadership change. Any final word on it? I don't know. Sir. Okay, that was not discussed. No, not discussed at all. We also saw the deputy CM here. Is he, is he a member of GCA now? Uh, that's a good news. The deputy CM is corrupted and he is, uh, he is now the first vice president. So he will be part of our team now. Desai briefed about the decisions taken in the meeting, which he said was all about cricketing discussion. The meeting was held today on 10th August at Kovarim Academy and it was regarding only cricketing issues. Uh, the first issue was appointment of the coaches and for which Ranji we have appointed Nuan Joysa, an international player as a coach. And for under 19, we have brought Mr. Sonu Sharma. And for under 14 and 16, we have brought uh, Sandeep Dahar. So these are extremely good coaches. And we look forward to see that our boys play well and good level of cricket is developed here in Goa. Then we had discussion on the infrastructure, cricketing infrastructure, as to how the camps will go on as far as the clothing is concerned. And there were some, uh, some other issues that were discussed. And moreover, it was only regarding the cricket that everyone had discussed. And it was a very positive meeting. While BCCI has been making news for wrong reasons of late, the GCA also looks like a divided house. The picture, however, will be clear in the upcoming annual general meeting. Our sports editor, Neeraj Prabhu, with video journalist Chetan Gawas from Parvari. All Goa Coconut Breaking Contest was held at Akshi on Saturday. This event is held every year by the young stars of Dugre. This unique competition is held as Akshikas celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence on 10th August. In olden times, this festival was held by the landlords who exhibited the quality of coconuts by gathering people and showing off strength. Have a look at this unique tradition preserved by the Akshikars. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Prudent Goa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. You are watching Prudent.